parameters here. This is actually a really easy one, so I'm going to do my best to keep this video short. This one's actually only asking you to complete the to-dos, and it has already given you a lot of the code that is needed. All right, so all we're doing is calculating change here. By the end of this, you'll see how it's simple. Now, mine is a broke-down, nitty-gritty, absolutely base version of doing this technically. There's actually a lot better code that would be more functional and things like that if this was actually a program. However, my code simply is to accomplish what we're doing here. We're still getting familiar with code, so we don't need to overcomplicate things. That's the whole idea of this channel is just to keep it simple and lots of notes, show you guys what's going on and things like that. So it's actually going to be a real broke down simple version of this. So it wants us to implement get sense. We need a do while loop which we will have calculate quarters etc and then the return is if it's 25 cents it should return one quarter same things true with nickels dimes pennies etc you've probably already read this so just a quick recap we're calculating the amount of change that somebody needs so if we input you know 93 cents how many quarters are they getting how many dimes are they getting how many nickels are they getting so that's what we're going to be doing here today now when you download and do all the necessary commands so you should have to you know w get zip cache zip unzip cache and then rm cache and go into cache so now this is the code you're provided with right so it already built all of this which i'm not a huge fan of because it really takes away from some simple code that if it allowed you to do as you can see it's just two lines of code per and they're basically the code repeated if it allowed you to do that i think you'd have better understanding of how it works however that's already provided so we are only going to go into the to do's now what's interesting in this one is that you'll see that a lot of the notes are here like hey to do to do to do to do now all of those notes actually I turn into real notes things that matter things that we are going to accomplish with this so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill in those notes all right so we're going to take each one of these notes and we're going to figure out you know what it is we need to do right so right here let's start with the int get sense right so one thing it doesn't tell you and I'd like you to you know kinda know so this is prompting the user for the input the change owed and returns the value in sense as an integer right so that's why it says int get sense void right so that's what we're gonna put in here so this note for me is gonna go here so it's gonna be prompt user to input oops yeah input uh, the change owed. So this is what it's going to ask us for the change, right? Uh, and return value as an integer. Okay. Now this to do here, um, now that we know that, is basically we're now going to be prompting the user for the change until a non-negative value is provided. Uh, in other words, if we're looking at 93 cents we would need three quarters to accomplish that so we want to stop when there's a negative number and move on to the next option of cents so this to do is actually going to uh, let's say prompt user to input change until non negative value provided alright so uh, that's going to be that one there and what we're going to do on that one is this is where we are going to put our do while loop. So the first thing we're going to do is we've already declared sense, right? The, well, we didn't declare sense. They declared it up here, right? So we're going to take care of that. So we are going to int sense. And let's actually remove this real quick. So int sense. And then we are going to do our do loop. So do, what are we going to do? And what we're going to do is when the sense is equal to get integer, right? And we're going to prompt the user for exactly like they ask us, change owed. And then leave a space for that. Otherwise, it will just be too clumped together so that's just a styling issue right there right so that's our do we want to prompt them for what the amount of change owed and we want to do that while it's not negative right so our while loop is going to tell you we want to do that for as long as the value of sense is not less than zero right so that's us telling it that 
basically we want you to do this as many times as is necessary uh, while it's not less than zero. And we're not actually going to return zero. A little bit tricky there. Uh, we're going to be returning sense. So that is our do while loop. All right, now the calculate quarters. So the to do for all of these is actually kind of going to be a little bit redundant because the way we wrote our do while loop, right? So we just want to calculate number, that's just shorthand, number of quarters for given amount in cents, right? And what we're going to do on this one is we are just going to do some real basic math. We just want to return the cents. Uh, as long as it's divided by 25. That's it. For this code, that's enough to make it work. So there are better functions. And you may actually, if you look at other tutorials, you may see more complicated things. You don't need to make it that complicated. And as a matter of fact, we're not going to make our notes that complicated either. Because it really is as simple as taking the amount of sense that's been input and dividing it by 25 until it's a negative number. And the same thing is going to be true with dimes. We're just going to change this over here to dimes, right? And we are going to return, as you could guess, cents divided by 10. That's it. Uh, and we're just going to keep repeating this process here uh, through the nickels and through the pennies. And like I said, this is when you really break things down to what a function wants you to do. As far as in this class, like I said, this is not really the best way to do this, right? This would be kind of not the best function, not the best program uh, for doing this, but this is enough to get what we are looking for. So I don't want to overcomplicate things now. Uh, this may make you want to do the cache more. Now for my series, what we're going to do is we're going to be going through all the, the less comfortable versions. And then once I'm done with all of those, then I'll go back and do the more comfortable versions. So the more comfortable may be more complicated than this. However, this one is just really, really simple. So pennies. Let's see. And we are going to return, you guessed it, cents divided by one. Now let's put the proper spacing in that. So we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to take a look at our style, see if it's happy with me. Just copy that there. And we're just going to left click over here. Let's clear this one out so we can see better. And let's see what it says for style. So there's, OK, all right, so it doesn't like the, the space I put here. Eh, that's fair, I guess. And that's it. So let's try again. Looks good. All right, so now that we've got that, we want to go ahead and make cash. Let's see if it'll make. Int sense. Did I miss something here? Where is this one at? This says, well, I'm missing a semicolon right here. Very good. All right, let's try that again. Make a cash. All right, small things here. So I am on the return sense. That's the quarters right there. So yes, of course, I meant return sense. So again, I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes all the time. So cash, let's see if we'll make cash now. All right, apparently I didn't put S's on a lot of these. So let me just go through. There's the nickels. Let's add the S there. And the pennies has it. So let's try one more time. So make sense or make, what is it, cash, right? Make cash, dot slash cash, and let's go see what it wants us to do for some of our inputs here. It wants negative one, zero, one, four, let's just do negative one and 24 and 99. So negative one first, good, zero, all right, dot slash cash, and let's do 99. Nine, so you'll see those match, match up there, and let's go ahead and run our check on it paste that there and let's see how we do now again stripped down version here there are better ways to write this code however simplicity is key when you guys are starting this off this is gonna be something that if you go back and look at and you're like hey wow that code is definitely not the best way to do it that that's true but this code will 
solve the problems that we have at hand. So that's why I do it the way that I do it. And there you go. So everything comes back right. We know that we're styled right. So everything looks good. Hey guys, real quick, it's totally free for you to like, subscribe, share this video, or even comment. Even if you're just going to comment, thanks. All those things help me out. Totally free for you to do. Just takes a second of your time. So if this was helpful to you, please do that. Smash the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me thanks. If you have any questions, just let me know. Like I said, there are better ways to do that. I know this. Um, if you want to put those ways in the comments or how you did yours or whatever, go ahead and do that. But thanks for listening. I appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.